Okay, I, I'm just saying this straight off the, the start here. If you're one of these people that say to me, oh, I can't watch this movie because it's got subtitles in it, I, I'm telling you, then get a fucking three-year-old to read them to you. I, I mean, there's so many good foreign horror movies that you're missing, and God, honestly, this is one of the best ones I've seen in the last couple years. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So I'm telling you, like I said earlier, if if you're afraid of reading subtitles in a movie, I mean, do yourself a favor, watch this movie and read the fucking subtitles. This movie is so good. And I'm gonna get into kind of why it's so good and I'll compare it to another movie that is, it's just, this is a phenomenal movie, it really is. I had the chance to go see it a couple months ago and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass, my friend Deb, um, had kind of a private screening to this movie in, in Kitchener at the Apollo Theater and I was going to go but then something came up and I, I couldn't make it and I was like fuck that sucks but it's on shutter now you know what I mean and I sat down today and I watched it and I was like god damn it I wish I would have seen this movie sooner because there's a ton of reviews out so I'm going to kind of keep this one short this is just going to kind of be more of an opinion uh, as to you know my opinion as to why this movie's so good and why you should watch it and I also want to do a video maybe in the new year. I want to go through Shudder and pick out a whole bunch of good horror movies on there. I'm telling you, man, Shudder is the way to go. It's like, what, six bucks a month. And it's like all the fucking horror movies you can handle. It's, it's a fucking awesome channel. I'm telling you, too, if you're watching this, they just released that Tom Savini documentary on Shudder. Do yourself a favor and watch that because it is absolutely fantastic. But tonight we're talking Tigers Are Not Afraid. Uh, it is directed by Isa... Lopez, I'm, man, there's a reason why this movie has won so many fucking awards. Like, just do the research, man. It's like 20, 25 awards this, this movie has won. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, the synopsis, uh, a dark fairy tale about a gang of <clears throat> five children uh, trying to survive the horrific violence of the cartels and the ghosts created every day by the drug war. So I'm telling you straight up, <clears throat> this movie is going to be unsettling to a lot of people because it does take place in Mexico and it just basically revolves around children. And I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but people get killed in this movie and they're not all adults and it fucking shows it. And it's just, I mean, that in itself is a horror movie, but it's more of a fairy tale. It starts off, the two main characters are Estrella and then El Shine. Um, there's a group of five kids and I'm telling you, these kids are amazing. They're not, they're not like late teens. I'm talking like some of these kids look like they're like five, six, seven years old. And there's, there's five of them and they, they're, they're homeless. Um, their parents have been killed due to the cartels or whatever. So they've kind of come together. Estrella in the beginning is living with her mom <clears throat> and she's at school one day. It doesn't actually show it. You just hear it in the background, but somebody breaks into the school and starts shooting a gun. So they all drop to the floor. But before this happens, they were talking about the teacher wanted them to create a, like their own fairy tale and then write a story about it. So anyways, when the, the gunman breaks into the school, they all drop to the floor, right? And they're hiding and not knowing if they're going to make it out. And the teacher is raped by Estrella and she reaches over to her and she has three pieces of chalk in her hand. And she goes, here, take this. It's three wishes for you. You know what I mean? Not knowing if they're going to survive or not, but they, but they do. Um, so she has these three pieces of chalk and in her mind, she's got these three wishes. So she goes home and then, and then later on in the first act, her mom goes missing. Um, again, I don't want to give too many spoilers. You know what I mean? But... What she does do after her mom hasn't come home for a few days is she wishes that her mom would come back. She uses one of these pieces of chalk. So whether it's reality or fiction, I'm not going to say. But in her mind, her mom does come back, but she is dead. Okay, so she's kind of like a zombie slash ghost figure. And it freaks her out and she leaves the house and she doesn't go back. Um, and that's when she joins up with these, these five other kids um, that she kind of friends with and and stays with them um but they give her an option because they don't want girls in this this group that they have right so they give her an option they say if you kill uh this one cartel member who killed i guess some of the kids parents or something well and they they their big thing too is is that the these guys they capture kids and they say that they chop them up and eat them but they probably 
you know, sell them on the black market or whatever it is that goes over there. It's quite disturbing, actually. So anyways, long story short, first act, she does kill this one person and they let her into the gang. And then um, they find his phone and there's stuff on his phone that the cartel want. You know what I mean? Like the videos. So then they start coming after the kids. And that's the second act. I don't want to say too much more about this other than it's disturbing as fuck but it's like so well acted i mean these kids are fantastic none of them have ever acted before i guess what they did is i'm not sure how they they cast this movie but they got these these children none of them had acted so what they did is they put them in these improv groups to kind of get them used to it but I, i'm telling you anytime you use children as actors especially a movie like this where it's very violent uh it's very unsettling uh, you know what I mean? And it's just, they nailed it. They, fuck, I could not believe, like, the emotions that these kids were pulling off. I mean, this movie is fucking awesome. I, I'll tell you, if you've seen the movie, I'm going to compare these two movies, okay? Like, they're, they're not similar. They are a little bit as far as the fairy tales, like the, the kids seeing fairy tale creatures. But if you're a fan of Pan's Labyrinth, you know how that movie made you feel? As awesome as that movie was... You can't tell me that you didn't have this sense of being depressed or, you know what I mean, unease as you were watching that flick and the violent acts that took place in front of you and how realistic it was. That's the same as this movie, only it's revolved around cartels in Mexico as opposed to the Nazis and stuff and that Pan's Labyrinth. But, I mean, that's what this movie reminded me of. And I was like, like this is a good fucking movie. Yes, it's unsettling and you're probably going to be thinking and talking about it for days after, but... I mean, that's what you want in a movie, and that this delivers that in this movie. It's fucking fantastic. So I'm not going to say anything more about the plot, but I will say it is shot beautifully. The special effects, the CGI that's in it, are fantastic. Uh, for like, there's not a lot of CGI, but when it is used, it, it's done well. Um, the practical is killer, and I mean, there are scenes in this movie that are gonna leave you with your mouth fucking open. It's like, it's just crazy. Like no one is safe in this movie. And it's, I mean, it's it's a sad movie, man. It really is. But anyways, I'm saying check it out. Absolutely, I'm recommending this movie. Now again, it came out in 2017, but we're gonna kind of classify it into 2019 because that's when it got released. So anyways, for a rating, uh, I would give this movie like an eight, maybe an eight and a half. Like I loved this movie. It's, it's as good as Pan's Labyrinth, it's just, it's different. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's different settings, and it, but whatever, it's just, wow. I, I love this movie, and there is a reason why it has won so many fucking awards. So, Isis Lopez, if you ever do see this review, I just want to say congratulations on such a fantastic movie, and I hope we see a lot more from you in the near future. This thing is crazy. So, anyways, it's on Shutter now. I, I think, very seriously, I'm going to do, like you know, like a top 20 movies to watch on Shudder. Shudder's just fucking fantastic. I know I rave about it all the time, but in the new year, I'm going to do a video and just go through the entire catalog that's on Shudder at that time and, and just point out some of the best movies that are on there because it really is fucking good. For six bucks, you can't beat it. And this movie is on there now, so do yourself a favor. I mean, if you don't like reading subtitles, just fucking suck it up and, and do it for this movie because it is definitely worth a watch. It's called Tigers Are Not Afraid. If you have seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, go watch it and then come back here. I, I, I want to hear what you guys have to hear what you say about this movie, if it affected you the way it affected me. So I'm giving it a very strong 8, 8.5. This movie is fucking fantastic. Make sure you check it out. Tigers Are Not Afraid, guys. And until next time, stay scared.